One man got robbed while flexing on live in the wrong hood. And another almost lost his life after teasing his ops on live. These are some of the craziest moments caught on Facebook and IG Live. First, we gotta start with another dude who had something on him while on live. Because flexing can be dangerous. Even though it's natural to want to show off the money you made or a new item you bought. But there's a downside of flexing for those online. Since you never know who's going to be watching and want to take what you have. And this dude had to learn that the hard way. After what happened to him while he was flexing some fast money he had just made on Facebook Live. In the video, a man can be seen with a large stack of money, showing it off to the camera. He also keeps dissing some of his ops, claiming they aren't getting money like him. Ain't none of y'all get no money. Yo, y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. Call my phone, man, what's up, all that. He then goes on to claim he made all of that in 10 minutes just from trapping. He also let the viewers know that he had lost a few racks yesterday while shooting dice. 10 minutes, ain't finna bust another play. On God, on my... On Jesus Christ, bust another place. Taking no trips, no well, none of that. Busting play, none of that. Three, two bands from Dice yesterday. And come back, yeah. The dude keeps talking trash to the camera for a few minutes while flexing the money. Then, out of nowhere, things went left because this happened. Yes! Oh, 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 you got You got You got, you got you got it? The camera then goes black for a minute and shots can be heard going off in the background. It seems like the dude recording is the one firing. The camera then comes back into focus and the man can be heard yelling, what the, how you delete this? What the man, how the how the delete this, bro? How the get out this man, man, what the Seems like the dude got as far away from the scene as possible. But this next man, person wasn't so lucky after dissing on live. Because 16 year old Memphis rapper PSO Emmett was attending a funeral for his friend, Jamarco Smith, another team from Memphis who passed. On the way to the funeral, Emmett's cousin PSO Dede went live on IG, but showed them walking with the group down the road to the church where the funeral was being held. Towards the end of the live, Dede and the dudes started taunting their ops, telling them that they ain't on nothing and never did anything to them. I never been on. I been on. I ain't, I ain't never sent a slings out of our way. Oh God. Oh God. Talk. I bet you don't make it off the. Not long after all the dissing, a group of shooters pulled up in a black jeep and started letting off shots, hitting both Emmett and his cousin Dede before fleeing. Dede was rushed to the hospital, but Emmett was pronounced dead on the scene. And even though PSO Emmett was known for showing guns in his music videos and rapping about the streets, his mother told the news that he was just a normal kid who worked at Wendy's, went to school, and worked on his music. Emmett's father also felt the same way. He was a baby, 16, full of life. He enjoyed himself. The best kid you ever want to be around, full of everything you want to see. A 22-year-old man named David Lee was later arrested in the connection with the shooting. And he is being charged with first-degree murder and attempted first-degree murder. Police also arrested Rico Lee, another person who had something to do with the shooting. And the video only gets crazier from here. Because unlike the last two people, they weren't hoping for something to happen while on live. But this next dude was wishing for something crazy to happen to him while live. A dude from Alabama named Chris was driving around the city, begging to be shot at. Since he wanted to see what hood stands on the most business. Because you can hear Chris riding through the first hood. And he lets the live know that they just hit him up. Yeah. Oh, these car coming in hot. Oh, they want to land down. Enzo just shot me out. Look, my window bush. I hold my car. Enzo just shot me out, y'all. After getting shot at by some dudes from the first hood, Chris then lets everyone on the live know that dudes from Inslee actually stand on business. He then calls out the next hood and says it's their turn to show them they're about it too, or better than Inslee. I got a little bleed. I think I'm bleeding. Enzo shot me out. So sh They ain't talking about something. They talking about something over here. See what they're talking about. Ain't just with me. I ain't gonna call police on y'all, bro. Y'all chill. Y'all scrape. Y'all ain't got rap, ain't it? Chill. Everybody chill. I'm getting out of there. Everybody chill. He just shot him out. Oh, bro, I had a Glock with a thad in it too, G. Chris keeps letting everyone know that Inslee and Birmingham's actually about it since they hit him. But now he wants Bessemer to take him out to see if they're actually about that life. He's about that out. Birmingham about that out. Damn, who about it? Who ready? Kishan, you ready? It's your time with the 308. I think they were shooting a nine. I think, I think it was a nine shooter. Chris then let everyone on the live know he was headed to Shell's gas station, Bessemer, so they could go ahead and take him out. I'm gonna get y'all out I'm gonna get y'all out get y'all out y'all British and take me out on that. Open the park at Shell. Open the park at Shell. Y'all go on the race. 
Y'all one shot, y'all one day. Ah, them boys hands clap me out. But I ain't gonna, I'm gonna build some I was born and raised and build some out about me, y'all. Not too long after pulling up at the gas station, some random dudes pulled up to help Chris out since he was hurting. But seconds later, the camera goes black and you could hear firing in the background. Come here, come here. Move my leg. Come here. Move my leg. No, you ain't. Move. move. Thankfully, Chris ended up making it out of this situation alive, but unfortunately, not too long after this, he ended up losing his life at another gas station in Bessemer, Alabama. But this next man didn't have any problems with his ops on live. Instead, it was cops. In May 2020, a 21-year-old named Sean Reed was driving down I-65 in Indianapolis when an unmarked cop saw Reed driving recklessly and almost hit another vehicle. So he began following him and even requested backup inside the vehicle. Sean was on live while driving, and when backup arrived, they ended up getting into a high-speed chase for about 10 minutes. The chase eventually ended when Shine drove into a local business and parked. He attempted to get out and run away, which led to Shine getting tased by the police. Oh baby, oh baby, what's this, Michigan and what? Michigan and what, Ace? I'm finna park this motherfucker. On mid 62nd in Michigan? Somebody come get my stuff. Please come get me. Please come get me. Please go get me. I'm on 62nd in Michigan. I just parked this motherfucker. Oh. Please come get me. Stop now. <laughs> you. Uh -huh. Not long after getting tased, shots can be heard going off in the background from the police. The live stream continued after he was hit, with more than 16,000 people still watching. The video also captures police comments after Shine had been hit, because one officer can be heard saying, I think it's going to be a closed casket, and more crazy things. It's gonna be a closed casket, homie. You're probably gonna run after him and then tase him, and then- I'm saying that's a good thing to shoot at him. That's a solid one of the detectives eventually notices the phone and ends the live. But the video quickly started going viral on social media, leading to accusations of police brutality. Police claimed that Shine fired first and they were just protecting themselves. But the comments definitely weren't a good look. The officer who did it was put under investigation and Shine's mother ended up winning a wrongful death lawsuit for $390,000 in February, 2023. Now let's move on to an accident that happened in Chicago because Chicago is a wild city that's known for gang violence. And the violence has gotten so bad that things aren't commonly happening on live. Some dudes were posted up on the block, flexing money, straps, and dissing their ops like most gang members do in Chicago. And we still up drinks. So yeah, we on our block. Up ate a walk. And from the looks of it, it seemed like they were going to film a music video or something. But not too long after dissing, you can hear someone hitting at them in the background. And everyone posted up instantly and took off running. The comments were in shock since people were saying WTF and WTH. But that ain't the only time that something crazy happened on the live in Chicago. On March 31st, 2016, a man named Brian Fields was hit while standing outside a gas station in Chicago. At the time of the incident, he was looking down at the cell phone or recording himself on Facebook Live. Just before the shooting, he could be heard telling the camera, they said they heard I was up here, so they had to open a store back up for the kids. And I need somewhere to duck and hide for cover. They heard I was up here, so they had to open the store back up for the kids, though. I need somewhere to duck and hide for cover. Minutes later, shots can be heard, and the suspect is briefly shown on camera. Brian was hit multiple times, including at least one in the face. Brian was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Thankfully, he pulled through. The shooter wasn't arrested, but police believed that it was gang related. But not long after pulling through, Brian's enemies came back and took his life a few months later. Because Brian lost his life while sitting in a white two door vehicle on the 1900 block of West Garfield Boulevard. And sometimes, crazy stuff can happen on live, even if you're not involved in the streets. Because 38 year old Warsaw Anagar was on live one day disagreeing with some things the Ethiopian government had done since he's from Ethiopia. But while live, some dudes ran up on both sides of the car, demanding him to get out of the car. 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 Damn, I'm not playing with you. Seconds after he got out of the car, one of the carjackers got behind the wheel and drove off while the live was still rolling, until he eventually noticed the camera and hit the phone out of the way. Right, right. Hit this left. Right. Oh, you this is right. Not too long after the incident, Warsaw spoke about the incident to news reports. So, so scary because they have a gun 
they need to shoot me. They say to get off her car. They take my car. Thankfully, no one was harmed in this situation. And police were also able to recover Warsaw's car and get it safely back to him. And check out this video right here on the screen. 